Hey, family and friends, remembered a man killed in a car crash as kind and caring. Investigators say Jason Ledbetter was driving on Highway 36 East near Toluca Road when he crossed the center line and collided head on with another vehicle. Way 31's Shos Bedrosian spoke with the family today and went back to the scene where evidence of that crash remains 48 hours later. This right here is just some of the debris that remains on the side of Highway 36 East in Valermoso Springs in Morgan County from the deadly crash. And now I spoke with people in the community today who knew the man that died. They tell me this death is impacting their small community. Jason was a good person to, to a lot of people. He was a friend to a lot of people. And you could tell that by the reaction that was you know, felt by so many. Most of this community is his family, and I know they're taking it really hard. You know, and I feel so sorry for his mother. Corey Murrow and Diane De La Rosa remember Jason Ledbetter for his kindness. Everybody that had anything to do with Jason, as far as uh, I can remember, uh, there, were, there were times where, where I'd call Jason for help, and he helped me anytime. De La Rosa recalls the moment she learned about the accident and Jason's death on Saturday. I was actually headed to church Saturday night and I seen it. You know, I turned down on that ground and I seen, you know, lights and stuff down this way and I thought, I wonder what's going on. And then when they dismissed church, they said, you know, who passed away. And I, it just, my heart just went out to his mom. Murrow told me before the accident, Ledbetter was having problems with his steering wheel. That could have played a part in the accident, obviously, uh, and, and maybe it did. Reporting in Morgan County, Shosh Pedrosian, 831 News. The two people in the car led better hit are both still in the hospital. We're working to learn more about their conditions. To so stay up to date with this story, the latest in the